Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. Um, I'm uh, coming to you uh, from the uh, COP27 climate conference in Egypt, in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt. It's uh, Wednesday, uh, November 9th at the moment. Um, I've just uh, filmed uh, three sessions today. One was an interview with Dr. Yi Tao about the MIR, M-E-E-R, uh, MIR system. And then I was in a, on a panel for the Climate Emergency Forum on climate uh, adaptation and mitigation with uh, Jen Bendel and John Liu and uh, Regina Valdez and myself. And then after that, I sat down for a interview for about half an hour with uh, Jen Bendel about deep, deep adaptation and other topics. But right now what I'm doing is I'm filming a video of the uh, cryosphere pavilion. So I'll spend, uh, I'll, I'll stop the camera at uh, different sites, each of the different panel images because there's lots of climate data on them. And uh, so just stop the video multiple times. I won't be narrating, but just stop the video multiple times when you want to uh, see, uh, get more scientific information on the cryosphere. So here we go. Maybe I will say a few words. Uh, so this is this was my favorite pavilion at all of the cops so far. Uh, this exhibit, it's a collaboration from a bunch of different groups. This year, it's based on the results of the IPCC, the sixth assessment report, the AR6, which is the uh, physical science basis um, section released in August 2021. So. Let's have a look at the uh, at the images. So we'll just go systematically. Thank you. 
Thank you, Harry. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the question was about in in a, so many microphones. The question is about innovations. Uh, if, if I make, uh, can I say a few words what I see as, as a main challenge? Where actually a lot of innovations are needed, and I'm the first to admit that this is a biased uh, challenge that I present. But, but um, I'm working for WMO, as it was said, and one of the biggest challenges we face is, is, is data. You know, just, just the biological, the meteorological data to be able to focus some more balance. Mountainous areas is a big, big challenge. Um, Mountain is particularly difficult because in one there are the most towers in the world, and then we have uh, that discussion. On the other hand, um, the, the insulation network is not very small. That's going to be Some stations are not in the right location, right? The land is so simple. It's really costly trying to take it as a measurements of basic parameters in the world. stakeholders are needed to, um, to promote innovation. But it's often, maybe there's a technical innovation or a, a social innovation, but there's a lack of innovation to actually operationalize it. So it's, it's nice to have a new center. It's nice to have a new finance system that we really operationalize that into our services, operationalize that into our financial, technological, and ecological services. This is still the way. So it's about innovation for operation of this. So you were that there's a very good point in social innovation so, and how to operate to visualize this, uh, the different innovations where we we know we need different actors at the same time working together. And this is one example. This place is an example for different actors from different backgrounds speaking together about innovation. How can we bring them together to this area? And so taking this time, I'm going to pass the word to Juan and uh, ask you about to speak about the different possibilities of innovation in the economical part, how to include the mountain the mountain areas of the economic Okay, hello. Okay. So 
how quickly do we know that um, even in a time climate change context, it gives over many opportunities that uh, My favorite pavilion every year at 